what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise news welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where bmw has lifted the veil on the new 2023 x7 suv and spy shots and renders have already given us a solid indication of what bmw had planned for the facelift the x7 but now it's a shock to see the new face with this dramatically split light clusters Better get used to it though. BMW says this is the new corporate look for its luxury models, meaning the upcoming 7 Series i7 and Alpina XB7 are also in line for the same treatment. Now the narrow strip of lights is mounted just below the hood aren't in fact headlights, but LED daytime running lights that double as turn signal indicators. Now the real headlights are sneakily located in a dark shroud lower down in the bumper and the idea is that other road users won't even notice they're there unless the X7 is coming towards them at night. Now with your eyes naturally drawn to the new lighting arrangement and the satin aluminum inlays at the base of the bumper, you can almost forget the fuss that I made about the X7's jumbo grille a few years back. It hasn't gotten any bigger for 2023 thankfully, but now features bicolor design and the X7 xDrive 40i buyers can pay extra for the illuminated grille feature that comes standard on an M60i. Now the rear styling changes are limited to just new LED lamp units that have glass covers for the chrome bars linking them. Now the optional M Sport package for your X7 xDrive 40i will arrive equipped with the M specific front and rear bumpers and side skirts with the lashings of high gloss black trim, dark finished trapezoidal tailpipes and double spoke two color 21 inch wheels. Now the flagship M60 goes a step further with air friendly M door mirrors, gaping air intakes and an M badge grille with quad tailpipes and 22 inch rims. And if you really want to ram it home to the motorsport theme, the M Sport professional package includes extra shadow line trim and black or blue brake calipers or better yet the bmw m50 years emblem for the hood tailgate and wheel center caps to show your acknowledgement of m's division half century of making bmws go just a bit faster now the biggest visual change after the headlights though is found inside the x7 in place of the old car's traditional instrument cluster and a separate touchscreen display the facelifted suv gets a combined curved display compromising a 12.3 inch digital gauge pack and a 14.9 inch touchscreen with BMW's latest iDrive 8 software. Now the screen is subtly angled towards the driver like most BMW dashboards of the past 45 years, but can still be seen and operated by the passenger. Now another big change is the absence of a traditional gear shifter for the ZF 8 speed automatic. The old car's joystick lever making way for a new smaller toggle located alongside the faithful iDrive rotary controller. And now you have the voice activated BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant where its role has been extended to even include opening the windows and panoramic roof. And other labor saving technologies include the digital key plus option which lets drivers lock and unlock their X7 using a smartphone. Now X7 interiors can be configured with six or seven seats and to make sure you've always got enough performance on hand, even if you're hauling seven bodies, the base X drive 40 I gets a 40 horsepower, 41 PS boost to 375 horsepower, 380 PS while torque is up 52 pound feet, 71 newt meters to 383 pound feet, 519 newt meters and can reach as high as 380 pound feet, 540 newt meters when the 48 volt mod hybrid tech is chiming it in to help out the three liter inline six. Now send that a lot to the pavement through the standard X drive all wheel drive system and you'll hit 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers and 5.6 seconds BMW says. But if you like the idea of chopping more than just a second from that number, you'll need to upgrade to the M60i. The hotter X7's 4.4 liter V8 also benefits from the 48 volt mod hybrid tech for 2023 and breeze through a standard sport exhaust. Now, despite the technical upgrades, the 2023 M60i makes the same 523 horsepower, 530 PS, and 553 pound feet, 750 newton meters as the older M50i replaces, and posts an identical 4.5 second 0 to 60, 96 kilometer time. And that might be enough reason for you to wait for the upcoming Alpina XB7, whose 4.4 liter V8 climbs up to 612 horsepower, 621 PS, and 630 horsepower power 639 ps again though torque is unchanged at 590 pound feet 
800 newton meters and the 4 second 0 to 60 time to 180 mile per hour top speed 290 kilometers is no better than the current car. Now the 2023 X7 models might feel a little quicker on the street thanks to a new sprint function where you pull the left hand shift paddle and the transmission drops to its lowest available gear while the engine and chassis settings all switch to their sportiest settings. Now that chassis includes the standard air suspension on both models and the M60i active roll stabilization and rear wheel steering has been added. But if you want either of those on the X Drive 40i, you'll have to tick some boxes on the options list. But don't get too carried away adding kits like BMW's first ever 23 inch wheel option because you might find yourself in the $77,850 range plus the $995 destination charge. But when you get to the M60i, you're looking at $103,100 for that big dog. Now the US cars arrive in fall of 2022, so you've got a little time to decide and even longer if you're considering the Alpina XB7, which doesn't land until early 2023. So with that said, do you like the new styling for the X7? Do you like the new lights? Are they worse than the big grills? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to know, what do you guys think? And with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll cover a bigger discussion on the restyle 2023 BMW X7. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my cash app and my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, just in case you guys want some long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, see everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.